It's game day one for GB on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald's and it is a big game for Great Britain to start the tournament off. They're playing their old foes Australia. In the last nine years there's been three wins for GB and one win for Australia and they go head to head today in the first game of the 2018 Division 2A World Championships here in Maribor. Well let's look back on the action. Soon we'll hear from some of the key personnel but let's look back on today action. Joined by the coaching team, Cheryl Smith and, and James Ashton. Congratulations to you both. Uh, to you first, Cheryl, were you worried at all going into the third period? Not worried. Um, it's a game of patience, and I think we know what this team is capable of, and, and that was the key in that third period, staying patient. We didn't do... The first period was fantastic. Second period, credit to Australia, they didn't allow us to play. They sent two men straight in on us. Um, they didn't allow us to set up. We found it difficult, and game of patience... We won in the third, same, same as last year. We were under pressure, nil-nil after two periods last year. We took it in the third. So if we're a, a third a third period uh, team this week and we get the job done, that's fine by us. James, the coaching staff, you, you both changed the tactics in the third period and they responded well and, that, and that's a great sign. It is, it is. And fair play to Australia and their goalie. Their goalie made some big saves in the first period and then Sam Ballwell, our goalie, made some big saves in the second period. And then we, we changed the tactics for where to shoot from and it, and it paid off because we knew the goalie was giving rebounds off to the middle and then we just got all of our players to shoot down the tunnel and crash the net. And, and they did and that's how we managed to turn it around. 
as we mentioned, it was very explosive. Five goals in seven and a half minutes, I think. It, it shows that this team can do damage at this tournament, Cheryl. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think this is the strongest team that's been put together for, for many a year now, four, four great lines, um, and, and it is about being patient. So, like Jane said, we, we, we changed uh, the tactics slightly to capitalise on, on a weakness in Australia's uh, goalkeeping, and, and that was the only thing that allowed us to get over the line. Uh, and the players adapted, they listened, and, and they did what we asked. Australia as a nation are not renowned for an ice hockey nation, but they're, they're getting better and better. You, you see that year on year. They're, you know, they're, they're going to cause a shock sooner rather than later. I think for Australia, it, it, it doesn't matter what sport they play, but they, they commit 100% to everything. So it, all you need to do is skate hard. So we always say to our players, you may not have the best game, that's fine, but as long as every player skates hard, that's all you can ask. In Australia, the same as um, last year, they never give up. Even in the third period, they still skate hard. So technical ability, I think, is what then gets you over that line and gets you to the next division. But they're not going to be rolled over by any team at this tournament this year. Just finally, two players reached their 50th cap today, uh, Angela Taylor and Katie Henry. That's a very special milestone to, to, to get in the GB women's game, isn't it, Cheryl? Yeah, it's, uh, it's unique and it's, uh, it's a great honour to have. Um, Taylor played fantastic today. She led with the team. She's uh, quite an influential player. Uh, and she, she, It's not just about on, on ice with, uh, with Ange, it's off ice as well. Um, so, yeah, very special day for two players today. And how quickly can you turn around for, for the game tomorrow the, in this sort of tournament they, they come thick and fast so is it a case now of the two of you going back to the hotel and, and starting work straight away yeah so we have someone else behind the scenes and they, they're going to help us a lot clip all the video break it all down look what we need to do we're going to watch the next game so we can see what the team's going to be like we're playing tomorrow and you, you have to you basically have to cram as much as you can in in as short a period of time as you can because that, that one little thing that you spot in a game may be the thing that will turn over the game when you come to play that team. So it's quite important. Angela, well, what an end to the game. Five goals in seven and a half minutes. How, how crucial as a team is it to, to be patient? Because you didn't have things all your own way in that game. No, it was a tough game. We weren't really getting the bounces, especially in the second period. And uh, it was a struggle to stay patient, I think. But we knew we were getting a lot of chances. So one of them was going to go in at some point, but we left it a bit late. But yeah, then the flood doors opened and we played awesome. So yeah. I asked Cheryl if she was worried. She said no. Were there, were there any worries on the bench when you stepped onto the ice for the third period? No, it was just more excitement. Like I just wanted to get in the game. I think there were so many penalties in the second uh, period. You know, the ref was like fair on both sides, but there was just so many. So we couldn't get in a flow. So I was just excited to play some five on five hockey, honestly. <laughs> And it was almost like when that first goal went in, the, the floodgates opened, but you could see that, that, you know, I'm not saying you lacked in confidence, but that confidence as a team just grew as that third period went on. Yeah, I think so. We just needed, like, one bounce to go our way, and it did. And then, yeah, we just really went for it afterwards. So. The coaching staff have been praising Australia. They, they really did run you close for, for two periods. Great net minding, but also solid up front. And Samantha Bowen had to make some good saves. They were well in the game after two periods. Yeah, I mean, Australia, I've played against them for so many many years now they're always tough competition there's always the kind of Aussie Brit like banter on there so it's really always fun to play against them but they they work really hard as well and they're a hard team to play against so hats off to them as well they did really well they're not storing your rugby ball this year then yet no actually I was telling my mum this story last night in the hotel and I actually went up the stairs without it and she shouted at me said Angela get back here you've forgotten your ball so uh, no we're taking good care of it this year <laughs> And just finally, all the girls recorded the, the special gifts for, for <laughs> celebrations. Unfortunately, you were the second, but that, that's great. Beth Hill was the first, but, you know, is it something the girls have, have enjoyed, just something a bit different? We have been so excited about these gifts. Like, we, we've been so excited to look at them. And as well, Beth, like, it being her first ever GB goal and, like, getting to do the gift, like, it's so awesome. We're so happy that we have something like that. Brilliant. Well done. And, and for people who don't know what we're talking about, take a look at GB Williams' Twitter. But uh, congratulations. <laughs>